In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build a mobile app from scratch in just 30 minutes with the power of no code and AI. And because I care about your wallet, I'll be using just one tool to build this app that has the potential to generate thousands of dollars in revenue. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with no code, it's a set of tools that allows you to build mobile apps like this one, or websites like this one without writing a single line of code. You see, these are drag and drop platforms that allow you to build software without actually coding. And when we combine them with AI tools, they make for a dangerous duo. Okay, so the name of the tool I'll be using to build this out is called Buzzy. And I'm gonna be breaking this down into step-by-step -step tutorials so that you, by the end of this video, will have your own first mobile app built. Let's jump in. Now, when we come to Buzzy's website, what we see is their promise, which is to go from idea to app or website. Now, the way it works is that it's prompt-based. So you can put in a prompt or you can use one of their example prompts and it's going to actually build this app out with AI. So for the sake of this exercise, we're gonna be building, leveraging one of their existing example prompts. So we're gonna go with this first one, create a recipe review app that allows users to read recipes and leave reviews on the recipes. Recipes should have a photo, title, three rich text fields for description, blah, 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 blah. So basically you can see here that it's getting very specific about what it wants it to do and the kind of data points that it wants for these specific recipes. So if you're gonna use your own prompt here, I would basically use this one as an example to get very specific about what you're telling this to create for you. The more specific, the better result you're gonna get. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click continue here. It's gonna ask for my email, so I'll give it that build my app and basically it's telling me that it's going to send me an email now when i click on the link in the email it's here going to bring me to this page where there's an introduction and there's also an estimated time to build out the app here it says three minutes and i'm waiting i'm 23 seconds in and if you're as excited as me to see the result of this then click on the subscribe button let's go so just like that it's created a first version of this app in buzzy now let's quickly take a tour of what it's created for us so this seems like the home page over here and we have the different featured recipes here pretty cool. I can choose to select to see more. At the bottom here, I have the home or the recipes themselves. So I can click on recipes. And here there's a recipe list. I can add a new recipe, which is pretty cool. I have uh, the recipes that are already inside the database here. So it's created a database with different recipes. Let's see what happens if we click on one of these for banana bread. Awesome. So here it's giving me, as I said, uh, the level. So it's easy to make eight servings, the portion size and the time it takes as well. So this is pretty cool. It's uh, already grabbed that information and transformed it into fields. Uh, it has also the rich uh, text data. So the ingredients, instructions and the review. Very cool. So there's already uh, Christian here. Who's this Christian guy? Left reviews, good banana bread but a bit too sweet for my taste. Man, you don't know anything about banana bread, Christian. I'm guessing you grabbed my name to create these reviews. Anyway, let's check it out. And at the bottom, I can actually create my own review. So let's go ahead and create my own review. Love it. I'm not gonna criticize it like this other guy. Submit, excellent. So it's actually already done that. Wow, so this is actually pretty cool. It's functional. Let's see what it looks like um, if I go on the mobile experience. Boom, it's mobile optimized as well. Very cool, my banana bread recipe. So this is the homepage again. Okay, so it's pretty much created a first version of this. And of course, uh, I can go on the top left here and I can check out the actual things it's created, such as a search bar as well, a profile page, manage users, which is an admin page. But of course, this is just a first version. So what if I actually wanna modify it? Well, let's talk about it. Let's go back to the desktop version. And uh, let's say that I wanted to make some modifications. So I go here and on the right hand side, there is a, a chat in this chat, I can start to interact with another prompt to give it some insight or to ask for modifications. So you can just really follow what it says here. If you want to make changes to your prompt, you can if you want to add additional things on top of it, you can. Okay, so let's say I wanted to change something about the design. Let's go ahead and preview already. They give me example prompts that I can use to prompt it. So here uh, in the documentation, changing the design. So change the button on the splash screen to say, let's cook. Awesome, that sounds pretty good. Let's just use this prompt. But basically what you would do is that you would use this style of prompting uh, to ask for uh, changes, right? And you can make design changes. You can also make data changes. Um, so it seems like there's quite a few things that can be done here. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, I wanna say, let's cook. Beep, 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 beep. AI generating, let's go. Okay, so as we can see from the timestamp here, it took about one minute to do that. What it did is that it successfully updated your app's design. Cool, now I need to recreate the screen model. 
Excellent. The only detail is that Christian didn't actually have a button on the splash page, so <laughs> it didn't actually change the button, but what it did is it, it regenerated some of this stuff, as you can see here. So here I'm gonna ask it to change this text here to um, rate your recipes. Let's go ahead and send that. So now it's just updated that. Welcome to rate your recipes. Let me have it add a button so that we can add recipes. So here I just typed, could you add a button to add recipes on the home screen? And because it's affecting the data of this app, it's actually asking me to refresh. So I'll tell it, yes, you can refresh the app. Now, if you're looking to launch your app, but you don't know how to get started and you might not have technical skills, then feel free to reach out to us at wearenocode.com. We can teach you how to build your own app with no code and AI tools. And we can also introduce you to someone to build it for you. Awesome, and now when I come to the recipes tab, it's actually redesigned it and made it black. Uh, I can actually add a new recipe so here I can upload the image of it I can create the title description I can fill out the ingredients the instructions difficulty level serving and all of the above and all that just with a single prompt okay so say you've adapted it now to your likings and we need to populate it with actual data because right now it has dummy data so that's gonna be the next step so on the top left hand side here we're gonna go to the workspace and here on the left hand side we're going to see data so if we click on data we're going to see different data tables, as you can see here. So this is the one that I've just added that I probably want to delete. Okay, so in the data table here, we have the recipes, right? And the data points for that difficulty level, uh, the serving size, preparation time, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, we also have the actual reviews and we have the users. So for example, if uh, Emily has to go, Sorry, Emily, we're gonna have to kick you out of this app because you've been making the worst spaghetti bolognese recipes I have ever seen, so you're out. As you can see here, you can also add, so if you wanted to add a bunch of recipes, real recipes here, and take away the ones that are just templates, that's the first step that you would really take. And you could also add another table here if you had additional things. Now, a couple last things I wanna show you. If you come here to people, you're gonna be able to give different people access to your app as well. So if you wanted to um, add one of your coworkers, this would be the place to do it. Uh, then you would go into settings and you could basically make this public. So that we're gonna basically launch this app, make it public, then uh, cover image, that's all good. Um, sign in screen. So here what we're gonna do is we're going to actually um, connect these to the, um, you know, sign in screen would be login probably. Let's see, yeah, login right here. Sign in confirmation screen, excellent login. Let's see, login confirmation, very cool. Onboarding screen, let's see if it's created an onboarding screen. Onboarding, boom, I would align all of these, accept license, and here I would reset password. Boom, and that's pretty much it. And when I wanna share it, I could just grab this link here, I'm gonna open it in a new tab and it's gonna share it within the app. So you can share this with uh, one of your colleagues. You can start getting feedback. And my friends, just like that, you've built out your first app. And for that, you get a classic chocolate chip cookie recipe. You don't get a sticker, you get a cookie or a sticker. And in this case, it's gonna be a classic chocolate chip cookie. But if you're only really looking to build out a beautiful, striking website with no code and AI, then I highly recommend that you check out this video because I'm gonna be breaking this down in a couple of minutes for you. Now I'm just gonna wait until you eat your cookie and go to the next video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, subscribe. Let's go.